About a week ago, I got a call from the detective. My three-year-old daughter said that my ex-boyfriend, Michael, was sexually molesting her, taking pictures of her, and that he was putting his mouth on her privates. I was married for three years to her father, Travis. Travis's family took her to the hospital. They basically went behind my back to take her to the hospital. I don't really know what to believe because my daughter said it was in the same room as me. She sleeps next to me in the same bed. So for me not to wake up is just, it's, that's very hard for me to believe. This is my life that's on the stake. You all are sitting over bowing up. I'm getting accused of touching your daughter. Why the did I do that? You know, that's what I want to know, Mike. Why are the, uh, the police, the special victims unit, DCF, showing up at my job at 3 o'clock in the morning telling me that you did this? I don't believe Michael would be capable of doing this, but I'm, at the same time, I'm not ruling him out. Travis, I just, I don't know you two, okay? I'm not here to belittle anyone. But you have no idea what you're doing to my family, my child. And I hope to God that you two are happy. Again, I'm not here to belittle no, you. I'm not I don't, happy. I don't know you. This is a sad and a horrible accusation that you're doing to him. I'm not here to accuse you of, of that you're, I don't know, I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? But I do know my son. And I know 110% he did not do this. There's not one ounce of doubt in my mind. Did you fabricate the story that Michael touched your daughter? And you answered no, you told the truth. <laughs> did you ever have any sexual physical contact with Barbie's daughter? You answered no, and the results are you did not tell the truth. <laughs> No, what? that's impossible, though. The good thing about this story right now is that there's an open investigation into this. Uh, there's allegations of a picture being taken. And if a picture was taken, whether it was deleted or not, there's a permanent record. We give the test, we read the results, and as hard as it is sometime, and as, as bad a result it is, that's what it is. I can't change it. All right. It is what it is. Something was bothering me. Plus the fact that uh, we read one question on your lie detector test that said you failed, but you failed everything. And you failed miserably, which is not normal either. I said, you know, sometimes things can influence a lie detector test. And what did you tell me? I was using drugs before I did this. You were using drugs before you did it. We bring you here, we give you your chance, but I'm not bringing you again. That's, you got an open investigation, if you want another lie detector test, you go home, you pay for it. Right, right? exactly. That's fair. The only thing I would think is that might give you a little hope that maybe if he wasn't under influence of drugs and he takes a lie detector test, he passes it.